All right, the following video is going to show you how to add actions to a button. Um, okay, so at this point I have a movie with a motion tween that's going back and forth, and I'd like it to stop and play. Now this is already done, so I'm just going to show you the actions. I'm not going to type them on the screen, but I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. All right, so what I do is at the bottom of my screen you can see that I now have four layers. Um, what I actually need to do is layer four is simply an actions layer. So what I did is I created a new layer by clicking the new layer button and I have a full layer that's just for actions. So you can see that I don't have, I didn't insert a keyframe or anything, I'm extending it the whole length of my movie because I want this to stop and play throughout the entire thing. I'm simply gonna right click anywhere in the keyframes and I'm gonna select actions. When you do that, let me do, okay, an actions window should pop up depending on your setting in CS6, it will pop up in various places. Now let's take a look at what's happening here. All right, so I have the first you see comments, which you can see stop button, call stop button, play button, call play button. First, let's just take a look at the stop button to show you what's going on. All right, so we've created a function, and I'm going to call this function handle click. This is simply a variable name. It can be anything. I just made up the word handle click. I'm calling an event and the action is to stop. So right here where I've stopped, this is where you actually type in your action. So if I wanted to go to and stop, uh, go to next frame, um, basically tell it to do anything when this button's clicked, this is where I put it. So I just have stop, because I just want it to stop. Then I'm gonna call my stop button. This little script right here can be anywhere in my movie, because we've already declared the function. So I can put this anywhere, but I'm simply putting it in the same keyframe. Um, so I call my button, my button is just a variable that I'm going to now keep keep this word in the back of your mind, my button, add event listener, so I call mouse event mouse up. So basically when the mouse is clicked, perform the function called handle click. And you can see the play button is exactly the same as the stop button code. Differences, first of all I need to create a new variable here, I can't use the same one, so I call this one handle click play my action is actually just a play action and this variable name needs to be my play button because I need, I, well it doesn't have to be, but I have to change it from my button to my play button and I simply call the action, the function which is handle click play so remember this my button, let me show you where this place my button and my play button, remember those two words let me zoom back out here all right, so if I take my mouse selector and select my stop button and click on properties, you can see at the top here, this is called an instance. Instance name. See, here is my button. And if I select the play button and look at that, my play button. And that's how you add actions to a button. And let's just play my movie and I'll show you what it looks like. But that's it. That's the end. You'll be able to see my ball going stop, play, stop, play. And when I play it here, it's going to actually reset my movie because I have a stop action at the end of the movie, which you've already seen that tutorial for. All right, thank you.